They were the front lines uh, in the attempt to find and defeat roadside bombs, that, which was the key weapon of the insurgency, let's say. So I proposed to Playboy magazine, which is, again, who I was ready for it, that they send me to Iraq to cover the bombs. I landed in Baghdad, I realized part of why it had been so difficult to get there. It was immediately apparent when you went out onto the, the streets of the city just how incredibly dangerous it was. And it was also apparent that the sheer logistics of the war meant that it wasn't going to end anytime it was soon. A city of bombs. And on a 20, on a 48 hour shift, the unit that I was uh, embedded with, these three man teams would, would disarm somewhere between 10 and 15 bombs within 48 hours. And I will say that incidentally, I don't know if this is still a topic of discussion, but when I was when I was here, one of the things that people talked about was desensitization in the media of violent imagery. And I, it's something that I wrote about as a journalist, but I can offer just as an aside that I think those fears are a little overblown. Um, no matter how many war movies you've seen and how many video games you've played, I guarantee you there is nothing approximating the experience of standing in, in an environment where you could actually get killed. Was uh, obligated to write an article about the bomb squad, which I did, but it seemed also that another article in and of itself was not going to be fully adequate to capture the experience that I had. And I had, was somewhat emboldened by the experience I had with Paul Haggis and fairly determined at that point to try a solo attempt at screenwriting, thinking that perhaps if I pulled it off, I could bring this story of these guys on the front lines of the war to a larger audience. It was a very different experience for me being a, a, a screenwriter than, than, than writing journalism, a completely different craft and a, quite a steep learning curve. And on the fifth draft, I sent to both Catherine and John and was anxiously waiting by the phone. Uh, I was still in New York at the time to see what they thought. And it fell to John to call and deliver the news. And what he said, which I'll never forget, is he said, Mark, you need to take a knife. You need to stab yourself in the chest until you've absolutely killed the journalist inside of you and then go back and start running again.